Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Susan Wojcicki, you tell me, what exactly is white supremacy? Who exactly is a white supremacist and who should be banned? Today, uh, question, it's a simple one. What is white supremacy? It's talked about a lot, but I don't hear it clearly defined a whole lot. So you tell me, what constitutes a white supremacist? And where do you draw the line at bannable offenses on social media? I, I really wanna know. First off, let me start this by saying, of course I was horrified and am horrified and condemn any and all mass shootings, uh, Christchurch, uh, the synagogues, mosques, mm -hmm awful, and anyone who supports that ideology, I've been very consistent. I want to make sure that there is no misconstruing what I'm about to say. Um, that being said, before we move on to the current loosey-goosey definitions of, of white supremacy, um, before the bodies are even cold, they've been politicizing this, blaming it on President Donald Trump. On Saturday in the morning, this assault on the synagogue, mm -hmm. and then Saturday afternoon, our hearts are with the victims. Take responsibility for your actions, Mr. President. One you of the are the culprit. Okay. Hmm. Um, really? Never mind that the, the shooter, and we can't show it from his manifesto, viciously anti-Trump because he saw him as a, a, a pro-Jew race traitor. Never mind that the Christchurch shooter hated conservatives yeah. uh, and did not, uh, as far as I remember, did not like Donald Trump. This is a part of a disturbing trend. Okay, in vilifying people, particularly right now, we're talking. People are talking a lot about white supremacy without actually defi de defining who the villain is. See if you understand what I'm talking about. You know, Trump is a liar, but in some ways he's quite sincere in that he has a hard time saying things that he doesn't mean in the moment. He doesn't feel any abhorrence what? for white nationalism, and so he's not capable of expressing it. Apply well, motive. I don't think if you look back to the beginning of his campaign, he has never separated himself from white supremacists. I, I can't even believe that you're Except asking when the he question did. of, uh, you know, President Donald J. Racist is a person who's a bigot Burn. and is in the White House. Of course he is. Yet the president failed to condemn it. Why? Because he can't. Because his own words and actions are racist too. That Navarro is muy caliente. She has got Ooh. some sass and uh, dead Johnny Mathis. Doesn't seem to understand that he did condemn it. And let me ask you this again, what is white supremacy? The problem here is that you hear these people mention it and they fail to define it. Because according to the media and the activist echo chamber, uh, white supremacists includes everybody from, of course, President Donald Trump. But then there's this guy who's been accused of it. And if you don't think that's enough, there's this guy. Who could forget if you're not, this guy. Yeah, he's, he's one of them. And then finally, by the time you get to this actual white supremacist, my point is the term has lost all meaning. Yeah. By the time you get to him, it's like, yeah, but you said Dr. Ben Carson was a white supremacist. <laughs> I don't appreciate the generalization about my, I don't see myself. As a white supremacist, I'll stab you in the belly buckle. The point, <laughs> let me make this too, really clear. Lest I come off as a hypocrite, um, let me define this for you. Because I'm going to challenge you to do so. The belief that anyone is inferior or entitled to fewer basic human rights solely based on race is evil. Okay? Whoever believes that, whoever subscribes to that worldview, is a racial supremacist. Uh, just as believing that anyone wealthier than you is entitled to fewer human rights as those in socialism do, is evil. But none of this is exclusive to white people. And that's not what the left is using to define a white supremacist or even a racist. Let me run you through a few examples here, okay? Then you tell me what white supremacist means and who we ban, and I wanna to get to Twitter in a second. If I were to tell you uh, that Asians, on average, tend to have high IQ scores, okay? Would that statement make me a, ra a racist, white supremacist, Asian supremacist? Honestly, think about it, answer. Now, if I were to tell you that black people, on average, not all, are faster than most people in general, in part because they have more fast twitch muscle fibers, is that racism? Is that black supremacy? Is it white supremacy? Now, what if I were to make the statement that Eastern Europeans, on average, not all, are physically stronger than, say, Asians? Look at that, every nary, nary an English name or Asian name, aside from Brian Shaw and one Canadian. Is that white supremacy? Now, let me make you a little less comfortable here, but go with me in this experiment. What if I were to say that white people, on average, have higher IQ scores than black people, on average? Is that white supremacy? Because guess what? I just said the exact same thing. I repeated myself. 
I was redundant, only I used different contrasting methods. So <laughs> please, go ahead and tell me which statements are acceptable and which are not. Speaking of unacceptable, uh, please bookmark this page if you're on YouTube because apparently subscriptions, notification bell may not be working. Of course, the only way you can support this content is if you join up at lotoscutter.com slash mug club or subscribe on iTunes. Uh, part of this is what's really important. Today's leftist playbook is, is calling everything a white supremacist dog whistle. And th this can go from simple phrases like he, he choked, I'll show you that in a second, to using words like we cherish our history. Here you go. He is appealing to those voters, whether he's doing it deliberately or not, he's whistling at them and they're hearing it. Romney choked like a dog, he choked. He went, I can't it's breathe. Kind of funny. Well, I've seen people talk about people choking hundreds of times over the course of my life. They say that, they're not so committed to the metaphor that they then talk about not being able to breathe. I've never seen that happen. What? And in New York, okay. where Eric Garner was choked to death by the police and famously had the last words, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Uh, on Saturday, okay. President Trump said that we must all, quote, cherish our history. Tom Periello is a former Democratic congressman from Charlottesville. He heard that as a dog whistle. So you believe, let me get, let me get this straight. Okay. Young Turks buzz cut. You believe <laughs> that Donald Trump is possibly the stupidest president ever, but he had the fourth that he was playing, not only 4D chess, oh, he was playing 18D chess. Right? When he was talking about Donald, uh, when he was talking about Mitt Romney choking like a dog, he was secretly thinking about Eric Garner because he was trying to mobilize all the neo-Nazis in the Northeast. <laughs> That's an episode of West Wing. I'd love to see Sorkin write. What he's clearly he's clearly <laughs> trying to reach the the five borough racist voters by he's referencing <laughs> Eric Garner. He choked like a dog. Ugh. Oh yeah, genius. And we can't say cherish our history. And by the way, th those are isolated incidents, okay? But it's gotten even more sinister. We've talked about the left wanting to control language. The left wants to use long-standing, clearly defined words like Western civilization. They want to include that among the secret dog whistle list. Now, it may or may not be true that some white supremacists are doing that. Are we supposed to lose our right to our opinions completely founded on principles and deductive reasoning for fear of some white supremacists somewhere using some of this terminology, which will ultimately to make a point that I don't even agree with, when I'm using the term Western civilization to make a point that a white supremacist would never agree with as well? The, the left is trying to cut people like you and I off at the pass simply because we believe Western civilization is the best in the world. And I do believe that. I think a lot of you believe that. That doesn't make anybody a white supremacist. Certainly not worthy of banning or deplatforming. But let's, let's, okay, let's follow the logic trail here. Let me try to use a couple uh, of examples. Uh, again, I really want liberals watching leftists out there to give me a definition here. White supremacist and what warrants being banned is believing that the United States, is believing that America is superior to Mexico, white supremacy. Now what if I believe that the Mexican-American business owner is superior to the white guy working with the Mexican cartel? By the way, there are white people in Mexico. Have you seen the soap operas? <laughs> or Jesse Ventura lately, he lives there. I have no communications to the United States other than doing my off the grid show, which we do from various locations so that the uh, drones won't find me and kill me. This man is not covered under free trade. <laughs> you take him back, you take him back. <laughs> I didn't want to be in the States because of fluoride in your tap. Of course, the parasites were a trade off I didn't see coming. I should have asked more questions. All right, <laughs> if I say that North America is superior to Africa, is that white supremacy? Now, what if I say that the Kenyan Canadian immigrant who's become a civil engineer is superior to the white South African pimp? Let me be clear here. I, I don't believe the white race or white people are superior by, I don't believe that any person of any race is superior by birthright in any shape or form due to their race. And let, I'll be honest here, unlike a lot of ethnic minorities, this is, if, if people want to talk about checking privilege, that's never going to happen. But if you want to talk about recognizing some things about yourself because you're white that may, may result in a different experience, sure. Unlike a lot of ethnic minorities, I've never particularly seen my race as a huge part of who I am. Why? Because they're all different kinds of white people. We're not, a, we're not <laughs> one monolithic clan. They're Irish, Italian, Russian, French, Scottish, Eastern European. But I do identify with the ideals of the United States, and yes, by proxy, Western civilization. The same Western ideals that all of those aforementioned people risked life and limb to try and seek. The ideas of, of, of free speech, religious freedom, freedom from government tyranny, 
All of which, by the way, they created a, uni a uniquely rich American experiment. It, here's the issue. Unlike back then, we have a lot of people now, not all, but some people now who want to come to this country not to take part in that great experiment. We have some people who come now, not all, uh, not seeking freedom, not in a boat seeking freedom, hopping across a moat or overstaying a work visa to benefit from a welfare state, only to subsequently, by the way, vote against the values and freedoms that made this country so desirable in the first place. I think that's just wrong. Just as I think, by the way, it's wrong for people to steal the place of anyone who legally waited in the queue to take part in this great American experiment, black, white, brown, yellow alike, it doesn't matter. Does that make me a white supremacist? Should Jack Dorsey ban me? See, to, to me, racism and socialism, and they're saying white supremacy now, they, they sort of are tossing all uh, racism under this umbrella, so we yeah. can even use that, but white supremacy is the, the word of the day right now. <laughs> When people, you know, you get, you get a hashtag going like train yeah. seals, that's white supremacy. Racism, socialism, any form of economic classism, they're evil and corrosive to the human spirit for the same reason to me. In that they are worldviews that identify you by what you have rather than what you do. And by proxy, these ideologies rob you of who you are. You have black skin. You have white skin. You have a vagina. You have more money than me. Rather than looking at someone and saying, oh, you studied hard in school. You worked your way into a good college. Yeah. You created a business that now allows you to employ 5,000 people. You treat your family well. You stayed with your wife and kids. You are an honest person. You are a good man. And my challenge to you is this. I don't want to get high and mighty here, but when you see these trends circulating, it, yeah, it, it gets my antenna up. My challenge to you is this. If, if we're going to talk about banning people, okay, for actually inciting... Physical violence predicated on a hateful worldview, fine, I get it. And if I ran a social media platform, probably wouldn't want people converting violent Nazis on there either. Understood. But if we are going to start banning and censoring people just because you throw an umbrella term out there, it is very important for you to define exactly what it is with tremendous specificity. Now, I already have. I put my money where my mouth is. So Jack Dorsey, Mark Zuckerberg, Susan Wojcicki, and to all those who petition these people to ban users, you tell me, what exactly is white supremacy? Who exactly is a white supremacist and who should be banned? I want specifics. Let me see your comments. Hey there, here I am uh, drinking from my mug in a button down. How often do you see this? Never. So. Do me a favor and yourself, click one of these videos playing one of these boxes here, or uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell also, because subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot. If you really want to support the show, join my club. If you don't, then there's no helping you.